Hey, in this video, we're going to look at how to load a CSV comma subverted value file into UWP. We are going to use like utilizing some snippets and some files from a Git repo of mine called UWP Kickstart. Uh, but I'll walk through everything. So we're to start out, we need some UI. We're going to have a button. We press that button. That's going to let us pick our CSV file. And then we're going to have a list view to show the, the parsed results of that CSV file after we've got it loaded up. Okay, so we're going to want two... Uh, two columns, one for our button, one for the rest of the application of the list view. Uh, the first row, we the first column, we just want to take up the space of the button. The second column, we want to take up uh, all the rest of the space button. We're going to call it load up our CSV file. And the rest of the space is taken up by our grid, which holds our list view. So we add it to the second column. Um, we want this to have two rows. One is a label for our text box. The other one is, a, uh, is the list view. It takes up the rest of the space. So... The first row is auto, and the second one is, is star, take up that space. Text block, uh, give us a little bit of label for our loaded CSV rows. And then our list view to display our information. Um, normally, we would bind this sort of thing with the MVVM framework, but because we're just going to access the code behind it, we're going to give it a name so we can access it directly. Uh, CSV rows list view, and we're going to add it to that second row. Okay, there we go. This should be all the UI that we really need to show all this information. Um, click. We're gonna add a new event handler for that. All right, done. Um, the first thing we need is we're going to need the CSV writer new folder utilities, uh, and it's a CS. It's a file called CSV parse that's in my UWP Kickstart. Um, and inside my Kickstart utilities, CSV parse, we're going to add it here. Boom. Here, the first thing we want to do is we want to pick the file that we want. So I've got a snippet called load files with picker, and it actually creates a whole method, load files with picker. Um, and we don't need that method because we're doing all this inside of our button click okay but we do want most of this this says okay let create a picker and then i want you to open that picker with the uh, view mode of list and then we want to look for files with the type csv now this uh, i have it defaulted to pick a multiple files but we can just pick a single file and it's giving me a problem. It's saying, you know, hey, there's a problem here. You're not using the async modifier async. And if you spell it correctly, it works even better. Okay. Um, the last part of this snippet here, it, we're not going to use it. But if you wanted to select a number of files, and then you want to store access to those files across multiple launchings of the application, you would create file tokens for all those files. So here we have a list of strings, and these are gonna be the file tokens because it was a, a multi-file file picker. And then we go through all of those files, and we say, okay, grab a future access token for every one of those files and store it, and then we can save this list of strings in our file, pull it back up, and then we don't need to go and pick the files every single time. Don't need that for this application, so we're gonna get rid of it. I've got a snippet called CSV Reader. And it's designed to work with that CSV uh, parse file that I brought in. Okay, now we actually don't need this part. This part says, this is assuming, it's kind of set up so that you have your own, you already know what your CSV is, you know, know it's going to be named. We don't need that. We're not going to be grabbing a CSV because we already actually have our file because we just picked it. So. We don't need any of that. We don't need to check to see if the file exists. We know it exists. All right, so here we are. This is all we need. Um, so we're gonna use the CSV parse file reader. We're gonna create a new one with the stream of the file that we just picked, okay? Then we're gonna create, for every row, we're gonna create a new row. Or no, I'm sorry, for, for the for file reader, we're going to create uh, a row. And we are going to create a new row that we're going to add to our CSV rows observable collection. And I'm going to do this really, really fast. So for int i in.
All right. Now, the funny thing is that what I'm almost literally doing here is adding back in those comma values, but we're really just pulling that row out. And we are cycling through every single item in that row saying, okay, grab every column of that row and just tack it on to this new row. Now, obviously, if we were doing this with real data, what we'd probably do is we create a data object. Um, and in this case, the item that I'm going to be uh, uh, pulling in is a, a set of tweets. So you would say, okay, well, here's uh, here's a data object, and we've got a, you know, we got the person who's sending the tweet, we got the text of the tweet, we got the time of the tweet. We're gonna we parse all of that stuff out. I'm not gonna do that here. We're just gonna take every column, add it to us, add it to the string, and then dump it. Um, CSV rows. Dump it into our CSV rows object. Add new row. Okay. Oh, let me see. The other thing is, in case we want to do this multiple times before we start this process. All right. Get rid clear that thing out so we're not just adding rows endlessly. Okay, and then when we're done, when we've gotten all the way through the entire file, we are going to, what was the name of our CSV rows list view? Rows this view dot item source. We're gonna attach the data to the list view that we have. Okay, so this should have everything. We should have our picker. We should have our rows. Uh, we're gonna parse through our CSV file and then we're gonna attach the results of that to our UI. So we're gonna start our application and see if it works and see what errors I have made. All right, application runs, it's up. We're gonna load our CSV file. We're gonna do it in the tweets that we have. All right, and there we go. So it pulls in the header. We could skip the header if we wanted to. But then we, it gives us a series of tweets uh, that we can pull take a look at and that's our csv file right there all right well thanks for watching hope you take uh, value in this and go check out my uwp kickstart i will be adding more snippets and more samples to it as i uh, continue building new stuff thanks